All right, guys, so today, I'm at Cable Tools. Today, we are going to go over the brand new Ryobi Link portable storage units. Now, I have all the units right here that they make for the portable storage units. We're going to go over each unit and the model number. And please forgive me, my video is not the best quality. I'm still suffering from COVID. And I shouldn't be in here, but I feel like I need to be in here, in here anyway. So let's go over each of these. Uh, let's go over each of these units to test out their strength. And, and yeah, so I bought these about four days ago and I've actually been analyzing them. I've been uh, just sitting on the couch with these on my lap, testing their strength and seeing with their ups and downs. I am a huge Milwaukee Packout fan. And I, I'm going to tell you this, that uh, after analyzing this, these are actually pretty good. Like uh, the price is a little too high in my opinion, but it's not bad. It's it's really not that bad. But just to, like I'd say for the all units, forty dollars too much. But it's still in my opinion, it's worth it. So let's go over the model. Let's go over each of these model numbers really quick and uh, and yeah, let's get to it. Forgot. I almost forgot the one thing I always wanted to majorly test out. We're not going to do this to the crate. We're not going to do this to the crate at all. Let's see. Oh yeah. Sorry. Dude, not bad. No cracks. No nothing. Like I said, we are not gonna do that to the uh, the crate. Because I won't even do that to Milwaukee's crate. Let's do someone a little bit more vulnerable. Ooh, oh, sorry. I'm 216 pounds, by the way. Yeah. And yeah, these are good. These, these are good. Totally would use these to step on just to get that much higher on something. All right, that's good. All right, the last one is to test out the big unit. Let's see on how well this does. Oh, that's even stronger. Oh yeah, these are good. Yeah, I have no, I have no issue standing on these whatsoever. I'm not worried that these are gonna crack or if me falling through. Sorry, you guys. But yeah, these units are good. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Said I'm gonna do a ver uh, comparison videos on these against Milwaukee Packout. I love it, that's all it takes to lock it in place. Oh. Done. And done. There we go, done. It, dude, it, guys, it, it's really, is a, it's a cool looking unit too, it's cool. It does look it does look cool and as you guys can see what the strength is just the units themselves it can hold its own uh, while spinning and this is proudly made in the USA with global materials all right so as you can see right here there is a black button which i do love this feature all you have to do is push that and then pull up then done you do not have to slide it forward like you do with the milwaukee packout system <coughs> that's all it takes to to put it back on well let's go over the crate first all right so the for the crate the model number for this is stm104 this crate is 50 pound load capacity it's impact resistant material a bill uh Ability to hang on Ryobi Link wall rails, stackable on Ryobi Link uh, mobile storage. And the dimensions of this is 22 and a quarter by 16 and a quarter by eight inches. Now, as I, uh, one thing I did ask Ryobi when I was in, on the conference call with them was to just to take this crate and twist it. And I did a lot of that the past couple of days and it, it's actually pretty, it's actually very strong. This is a, this is a very strong material. Now I do not know if this would crack. Like let's say if it's a, if it has some if it has some tools in here and you just drop it on the ground like five feet. But yeah, but when it comes to 
twisting it, it's actually a very strong material. And if you want to compare this, uh, if you want to compare the size to this, to the Milwaukee Packout, this is the size. And so, yeah, so like this is a bigger unit all the way around. That is wall to wall. See, it's, it, it's that much bigger all the way around, which I do love the size of this crate. And how the, the, how the locking system works, you just hit the button and those go up and down like that. And like, so when you put this on top of a unit, those go in automatically. They do have, they do have inserts right here that you could have a divider. This did not come with an, a divider, but you could get one. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's, it's actually very strong. But yeah, that is the crate. This is model number STM104. All right, just to show you how easy it is. Bam, done. That, that seriously is nice. And like I said, like they can, because of the design of this, they can actually make half units. I do see uh, half units being made in the future. I do. This is just the beginning of the Ryobi portable storage units. And it, just like the Milwaukee Packout, they only had a couple of things out when they first released the Packout. So this, it, I do see more happening in the future. All right, so this is model number uh, STM101. This does have a bit holder right here. It's the exact same design as an actual bit holder to where you just could pop the, the, the line in place and you could have this designed however you want. Because as you can see, let's see if I could zoom in on that. You guys, you can see they have these on both sides. So you could actually slide uh, a bit, a little, a little bit holder that holds like eight of them in place right in there. Yes. So it, it's, that's a cool feature where you don't have to worry about a separate case for your bits. Impact resistant latches, it's IP65 water and dust resistant, integrated Ryobi accessible, sorry, real integrated Ryobi accessory bit storage, double and single organizer bins included, impact resistant material, secure locking, seven, uh, a secure locking point. And uh, the, the dimensions of this is 22 and three quarter by 17 and a quarter by six inches. And like, uh, like I said, it does come with two storage things right here. Now what these do, which I've tested this out, I'm really not too impressed with this. The, the bottom have uh, have an arrow on all four corners and what this does this locks in with the di with the diamonds that are right on the bottom and as you can see it locks into place but what I tested out m many many times but I which is why I'm very disappointed with it if you put those in place and then you close the lid those are not going to stay in place those are going to move around. So let's lock this up. Actually, I'm going to have this over here, I think. I think this is better. That's better. All right, so let's lock this up. As you can see, those were locked into place. Yeah, see, they're already, they're already out of place. And if you have, if you have a bunch of screws in there, they're just gonna they're just gonna go all over the place and as you can see they are not they are not in their position as they should be if there were more weight in those containers that would thrash around even more so yeah i am disappointed with the locking system that is implemented inside the container but that is not a deal breaker for me that's not a deal breaker for me so yeah but same thing and I love it. I seriously do love how the system is. And uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit the, the all units together. It does look as cool as the Milwaukee pack out. The color coordination is actually good. I messed up uh, what I suggested uh, during su uh, summer was have a green bottom and a black top. That would have been a mistake because I think that this is actually a good color scheme that they that they chose. Like I said, how to put this on, it's very easy. Just like that, and it's locked into place. All right, so next, let's go to the medium unit. 
The model number for this one is STM102. Go to the specs. Impact resistant latches, 80 pound load capacity, IP65 water and dust resistant, integrated Ryobi accessory bit storage, double organizer bit included, impact resistant material secure and a secure locking point. The dimensions are 22 and three quarter by 17 and a quarter by nine and a four, nine and nine and a quarter. So that is this, this is the medium unit. <laughs> It has two latches, and there you go. Now, when it comes to the organizer in this, this is better because this actually does lock into place. It's a double feature where it does have a divider, and then that slides in like that. You get it has it. Uh, you could put another one on this side. <coughs> uh, this does have a bit storage where you can have organize this to whatever bits you want in here which I think is a fantastic idea. And so, yeah, uh, on each of these units that, well, that has the handle, there is a nice rubber mold grip on there where it's an actual good grip. May, lots of friction. Let's put this on top. There we go, that's locked into place. And then last but not least is the roller storage unit. Now. I, I've been rolling this around for a little while. I do love the extra middle molding right here to where it just makes it that much more smoother. There is another rubber piece that's extended beyond the rest of the tire. The model number for this is STM201. Nine inch all-terrain wheels, wide steel handle, impact resistant latches, 200 pounds, a uh, 200 uh, pound load capacity. Right, IP65 water and dust resistant. Uh, integrated Ryobi accessory bit storage, double organizer bit included, impact resistant materials, integrated tie down anchors, secure locking point, and the dimensions is this is two, 22 and three quarter by 20 inch by 29 and three quarter. Let's take a look on the inside. All right, so the same thing, just like the, 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 the medium unit, it does have a locking system for the, uh, the extra storage on both sides. You can put it on that side, or put it on that side, or have another one and put it on both. And this also goes up on the wall, on the wall units. And so, yeah, bit holder, you guys saw it already. I, I do love that feature on all of them. This is pretty deep. Let's see, just a roughly about 14 inches in depth when it, com when it comes to the front. Got to have a latch, have a latch. One thing that I love about this is on the back there is an actual uh, kickstand, uh, a place for your foot to where you could easily just let that go <coughs> very easily. I love that specific design for that. It is a very smooth uh, rolling uh, portable storage unit. It has two handles on, this, on the sides and it does have the rubber molding right there. The same thing with the big handle. It has the nice rubber molding right there that has, has a lot of friction and grip. That goes down like that. And let's actually, uh, sh I'm gonna show you what, uh, that you can actually take these handles off. I'm gonna let you guys know what the size of this is because I do not, I do not, uh, got it. I did not receive a bit with this. This is T, uh, the, the bit required is T20. It is T20. Just like that, that is what it looks like. That's what, you got two of them. Now, I am gonna say be careful with that. I'm gonna inspect it right now. But as you guys can see, 
you could take the handles off, which I think is an awesome idea. But let's inspect that really quick. Because if those, if there isn't metal reinforcement in those to help keep those on, then you're going to have issues. Have a magnet right here. Nope, I don't feel anything. No res, oh, sorry. No, I don't feel any resistance. This other side, same thing. Yeah, it's, uh, there's no metal in there. That's only plastic, so that could, this could strip out on you and then you're screwed. Then you won't be able to keep the, screw that back in. There are two parts right here. Not sure if you guys can see that. Like right there, you could put, you could put a, a, a bungee cord with a hook on there <coughs> and wrap it around. But yeah, as you can see the bottom of the unit. So it's not that bad. Now let's see if there is, no, that's plastic as well. Unfortunately, there is no metal, maybe in a future generation there will be a metal reinforcement there, but yeah, if you strip that, then you're screwed. There we go, I think I got it. There we go. We got it. All right, but let's put the uh, other units back on. And just like that, it's done. But it's not bad though. Like I see, I do recommend this. This is actually, it's not a bad unit. But if Ryobi does make smaller units for this, like the Milwaukee Packout did, you know, units like this, you know, or the half unit of this, it would be a fantastic thing. And the crate, the crate could also go up on the wall, on the wall units, and these units go on top of the crate. So yeah, there you go, you guys. Like I seriously, I can't wait for, I can't wait for we're able to make more units of this. This is totally worth it. All right, guys, like I said, I am very sorry for not uploading as I know often do. I, it's, been, it's been so bad. It's been so bad for the past week and a half. I can't believe on how hard COVID actually hit me. It's, it's terrible. It's terrible. But, yeah, I can't wait for the, uh, Ryobi to make more of these units. These units are seriously awesome. I love the design. I love the color coordination. It's not too much green to where it's overwhelming. I love the tone of gray that they chose because that's not the tone of gray that are on the tools. That's, a, that's much darker. I, I love the design of these and they actually are very durable. Do I think that they're a bit overpriced? Yes, I, I seriously think that they are, but it's not, it's not too overpriced to where it's not worth it. These are worth it. These, uh, we are, these units are actually worth it 100%. And I can't wait for Ryobi to make more. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.